like them. I do not like them. I don't like my family, so I'm not going to go Boom, bye, bye to a negative mind. No, when I come out, the ugly way, them off to die. Live it to the limit and I live it up nice. Only positivity, me deal with all the time. Right by my side, only the family. We'll change the life. <laughs> and welcome back to another cup of coffee. So it has been a long time and I know I always say that but I am starting 2019 as I mean to go on and I always think 2019 starts right now. So it is 7am on Christmas day and I just want to say Merry Merry Christmas and I actually have this cup that says I'm only a person, I'm only a morning person on December 25th and yeah I'm up so early because there's still that excitement that yes it's Christmas, yes it's Christmas, so I'm really happy. So I just want to say Merry Christmas to you and yours. And um, the cup of coffee that I want to do today actually is talking about something that is quite hard for a lot of people at Christmas time. Um, but this Christmas in particular I've been hearing quite a few things. Um, now it's not nice for anyone to be alone at Christmas and if you are alone at Christmas um, I just pray that God comforts you and I pray that you are able to find some people who you can commune with in whatever way that may be whether that's um, going to your neighbours for lunch which is what I'm doing this year or just going somewhere where you can be in communion with people because we never have no one it's never do you know what I mean sometimes we can feel like we have no one but that is not the case I always believe that there is somebody out there um, and even if you take your place to a place where people are gathering then you can be part of that gathering um, but today's topic it's a bit weird because this Christmas I've heard quite a few people say I am not I'm not seeing my family this Christmas no no I'm not speaking to my mum I'm not gonna go home for Christmas from more than one person and so that's why I'm doing this video I'm not doing any indirects don't worry I'm not trying to send for people I'm not trying to be that guy or that person um, I just want to share this video to say please share the love basically there's a few people who I know um, who are choosing by their own choosing to not go and see their family this Christmas even though they have the capacity to um, and that may be because someone said something to you or you're not speaking to certain members of your family or you just don't like your family um, and I just want to I just want to ask and I just want to implore you literally to please bury the hatchet for today like today is Christmas today is Christmas if you're able to go and see your family go and see your family be with people um, I mean there's certain people this year who aren't who don't have any family to spend it with because their family have passed away or their family are miles and miles away my mum's in Nigeria this year hi mama if you're watching this uh, my mum is in Nigeria this year and it's gonna it's so weird to have a Christmas without her um, I know if I could get on a plane I would get on a plane I would pay 1,500 pounds for a Nigerian ticket that's so expensive they really exploit us by the way that's a, just a disclaimer I think the ticket prices in December are horrendous but yeah um you know my mum is in Nigeria she's not with me here but for some of us we have the capacity to be able to go and see our families but because of grudges that we have or things that have hurt us we're not going to see them so I just want to beg you to find it somewhere in your heart to just bury the hatchet even if it is for today and to just forgive and to go and see them I mean Christmas is all about Christ coming to this earth to be our saviour you know to, to provide forgiveness of sins so who are we to say I'm not going to forgive that person I'm not going to forgive no she did that no 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 I'm not speaking to her no I'm not speaking like who are we to do that who are we to do that I mean this is the thing like family can hurt you in ways no other person can like and the reason why is because they are so close to us and we love them we actually love them I mean if you didn't care about somebody they wouldn't have the capacity to hurt us they wouldn't be able to give us um that pain or they wouldn't be able to hurt us the way they hurt us because we think Psh, I don't care about them anyway I don't care about them I don't care about them but the people we love and the people that are closest and dearest to us are the ones who really really sometimes it's just it's just like wow like the things they do we think wow that is evil but our family is our family for a reason and the thing is when you have unforgiveness it's literally like you are banging yourself in the hand repeatedly repeatedly like beating yourself up and you're hoping that the other person is going to get hurt like somebody put it like this it's like drinking literally getting a cup of acid drinking it and going and waiting and watching to see the other person crumble or waiting to see the other person die thinking that it's going to hurt them in the inside but actually you're the one that's drinking the acid you're the one who's ing ingesting it because unfortunately sometimes when people have hurt us they don't even know 
they're just going about their business whether they're whether they're, they're doing it knowledgeably or not they don't know that they've hurt us they're going around doing their thing and they don't even they don't give two hoots unfortunately and sometimes people have hurt us in ways that we don't even they don't even know so every time we see them we're giving them the evil eye we're doing this we're doing that and we're like oh, oh, oh. but actually they have got no idea that they've hurt us so whatever you're doing this Christmas, I just want to say, please, go, please go and see them this Christmas if you can. Or if you can, just pick up the phone, give them a phone call. Let's bury the hatchet. God has come to free us from grudges. He's come to free us from all of the, just all of this negative stuff. I really believe that we can, we can be that change we want to see. We can just be light. Just be light. Just spread love. Spread love and spread joy. All right, then. See you guys later. Merry Christmas once again. Bye.